Hey Unity developers, today I am going to show you how to add a dynamically scaling scroll view to your Unity game. The end result will be as shown in this video. Let's get started. I have a simple scene with a UI canvas containing a background image. Let's create the parent object for the scroll view. I will call this the inventory menu. Inside the inventory menu, add the scroll view which we are going to be working on. Since I won't be using scroll bars, I'm just going to delete these two. Now, let's add a nice background to the scroll view. Adjust the size of the scroll view as needed. Now, the first thing we need for our dynamic scroll view is a layout group. For this tutorial, I'm just going to use a grid layout group. Since I only need a vertical scroll view, let's just go ahead and disable the horizontal checkbox. Next, let's add some content to the scroll view. A simple item slot with a background image. And an icon on the foreground. Just duplicate this item to fill up the scroll view. Let's quickly adjust the padding, the cell size and the spacing to make it look nice. Now if we just go ahead and run this, we can see the issue that the scroll view has a fixed size. We can adjust the size of the content holder, but this won't be very efficient for a dynamically scaling scroll view. To fix this, simply add a content size fitter to the content holder. And now depending on the direction we are scrolling in, we can change the horizontal fit or the vertical fit to preferred size. And all done. The content size fitter will now adjust the size of the scroll view no matter how many objects there are. I will quickly add a button which will populate the scroll view with random items at one time. When the button is pressed, it will simply add 5 random items to the scroll view. Let's go ahead and test everything. And perfect. The scroll view fits the items inside it just as we want it to. We can add or delete items at one time and the size of the scroll view will be adjusted dynamically. That's it for the video. Make sure to like and subscribe for more useful tutorials.